When people hear the word bacteria, they often think of harmful bacteria and forget that the bacteria in and on our body are essential for our health. The gut flora, that is now called microbiota, is so complex and important for health that we often call it the forgotten organ. Now, realizing this microbiome is so important for health, people started looking for options to use it as a therapeutic target. And what came up is fecal transplant. So you use fresh feces transplanted to the patient that is lacking the gut flora in order to re-establish a healthy intestinal balance. Now this therapy works extremely well for infections, but has the disadvantage that the microbiome is highly individual. It's composed of over 500 different bacteria, of which there is always a small percentage that potentially could be harmful. So there's no control about which microbiome fits to whom, and there's no control on how do you keep the potentially harmful bacteria under control. So we set out to reduce the complexity, so take the key functions out of the 500 individual strains and reduce it to less than a dozen of bacteria that have the key functions of a minimal, we call it a minimal intestinal microbiome. Our vision is that most chronic diseases will have a microbiome therapy component to that therapy, be it preventive or curative, and we want to enable this kind of therapies through the delivery of the bacteria needed, the technology needed to produce it, and a deeper understanding on how to, to apply these therapies. The microbiome field is a very interdisciplinary field. You need medical expertise, you need biotechnological and microbiological expertise. We found ourselves here at ETH in a perfect position to interact with the university hospital. And I think only through this close collaboration since the beginning, we were able to have this translational uh, approach and successfully develop this invention. Mm -hmm.